What is your stance at, as to who should bear the brunt of the, I guess, the logistical uh, mishaps with the Guyanese set and not getting to Bahamas with the intended time? I think you wanted them in by Wednesday or Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, but they end up just mere hours before the events. What would you, uh, your response be to who really bears the brunt of that situation? Look, we could have had, like... Uh, I get to understand what it would have happened to Miss Hodge where a thunderstorm could have hit. The flight that's supposed to be bringing her to the championship is not there anymore. And hence, she was stranded. And you'll hear people would say, well, you know, you should have gone in the day before. We think that we had everything planned out nicely. We had all of our stuff, in all of our docks lined up in order that we were going to get our tickets at this time. We were given the assurance that yes, the tickets were still there up to the day before when we got the GOA check and we approached the travel agency only to be told that all the tickets are gone. That situation, yes, we will probably re-examine our relationship with a particular travel agency. Yes, we need to re-examine how early do we start getting funds in for, I mean, a venture like this. This venture, um, sending these athletes out there, the budget was over $9 million. But I'm sure that we will way gone past budget right now because of the extra that we have to spend on travel. The question is, as I said, you know, things can go wrong. Things can go wrong along the way. But how we respond to when things go wrong is what's going to make us strong. What we had to do as an association was battle on and say this to me. We are making a decision now that this team must go and let us put out all stops in to ensure that they get there. Come next Corifta, I can give you all assurances that things are going to be done a lot earlier. Yes, we're still hampered by the late schools, nationals, and joint services championship. Yes, we're still hampered by not getting a budgetary allocation, let's say, from the government again and the GOA on a, on a, on a, on a timely basis. And I know sometimes the response will be that, well, you're right late, but I know this time around, Everybody had our budget from since the year before. And they knew every single meet that we were going to or that we planned to go to. I'm not casting blame, blame at anyone because at the end of the day, ultimately, the movement of that team relies on the Athletics Association of Guyana. And we are the Athletics Association of Guyana. We need to put our heads together and come up with a better formula in handing our athletes going forward.